Let's see if they make a run. Oh, probably so. Oh yeah, they're getting after us now. <laughs> go, Joey, go! <laughs> it ain't still on you. Ah! Woo! They mad. <laughs> they mad, buddy. Well, hello everyone. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike and I do bees. Welcome to beautiful Washington Parish in Franklinton, Louisiana. We are on the site of another cutout. Now, you know me. I tell you, I don't do cutouts. I do one a year. That one a year reminds me of why I don't do them. But this one was promised way back, uh, way back when, probably I guess around November, maybe October, I promised I uh, would come take a look at this one. And that's what we're doing. Uh, the other one that we you saw in my video was one that just popped up and it was just an opportunity and I uh, was a lot more to it. But anyway, we're here and we're going to do a cutout today. And it'll once again remind me why I don't do these. Alright, so what we got here is under this bay window, we have bees in that hole right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a piece of plywood. There goes one right now. It's warm. So they will be flying today, and we will have to deal with robbing, but hopefully we can get in there. We're going to smoke them good, open it up, and see what we have inside that. And you know with bee cutouts, they're never as easy as they look, so I'm sure we'll run into some difficulties. So, let me get all set up, and then we'll get the video rolling. Told me about how to do this. <laughs> yeah, I, I know what you're talking about, man. Dirt roosters and explain <laughs> things to me. Is that what is that? Can't see it. See them where they go. I'll shake them in a minute. That little bit of. We're gonna give them smoke. So. You want some more? No, I we gave them enough smoke to try and calm them down for this part of it. It ain't that big of a hive, I don't think. Like that. It's been here a while, ain't no doubt, but it goes on back too. Oh yeah. We're just gonna take our time, cut them out one after the other. It's full. One, two, three, four, five, six combs full. There we go. That's what I wanted to get right there. Alright, grab right, this. Honey. Make sure there ain't no queen or anything on it. It shouldn't be, but let's double check. There you go, Joey. doing is making a mess right now. I just hope the window don't fall off, but if it falls <laughs> off, it just falls off. I don't think it will, because it'll be held by these two. Pull that side off and we can pull it back. 
There we go. Watch him now. Yeah, I see that. You want me to him down? Now we can do some work. We can get to the front. Pulling it out of the back wasn't, wasn't the right thing to do. We're going to try this. That's all. Honey. What we're seeing with this hive shining light over on the comb, we're seeing honey on the left and brood on the right mm -hmm. instead of honey on the top. Yeah. It's kind of set up a little different than normal, but we got to get busy because we don't want to get no robin going because it's forcing us to have to cut honey and brood at the same time. I'm trying to leave some of it in from here on out. I'm going to cut this side, but uh, in order to get most of it out so far to get good access, we've had to break some honey loose. I didn't want to break it loose early. All right. Well, that's all we need for a frame anyway, right? Mm -hmm. so it'll work that way. All right, I'm gonna come at you now. Same thing, check the one that's left in there. I'll give him some pollen. Thank you. 
we'll put that in upside down. We'll put it in right side up. How about that? There we go. Orientation's got to be right on these. Okay. I'll give them some of this bottom because it's actually got brood and eggs in, in here. Watch your hand. Oh, I'll cut it. I'll cut it. We're running no. We're going to take a little off the top. Alright guys, Whew. Joey, Joey saved the day on that one because I sure could not see her. I kept looking under there and my eyes are shot. And he's looking right there, so I went to push them all down because I thought she was going up. He said, no, I get her. <laughs> and I'm glad he did. Let's see, can we see her? I don't want to squeeze her open. There, she's down in that corner. There she is. And as Mr. Ed would say, thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. And as I would say, praise the Lord. Because <laughs> you know what? Thank the Lord. 
we just thank the Lord for that because I tell you that it's all over but the crying now. All we got to do now is is uh, get this. All we got to do now is suck them up, cut it out, and we're done. And, uh, and that's why I like to have two people right there. That my eyes are shot. He saw, he spotted her. I looked under and caught a glimpse of her, and that was it. And then, and then she blended in because the light under there isn't the greatest. And I'm trying to get her on that ledge, and I just couldn't see her. And I'm glad he spotted her. And I tried to, I, if I'd have seen her, I could have grabbed her, but I just couldn't see her. That's it, we're done. We got Mr. Bruce now getting him experience on the vacuum. These are going to be his bees. All right, now we get on with it. As they always say, she's a beautiful thing. Because uh, we got honey everywhere. And we're going to have robber bees here pretty soon because this is an exterior removal. So I'm just glad he saw her when he did. And, and what we were doing was I would cut the comb and pull it down. I'd take care of the one in my hand. He would immediately start looking at the comb up there. And uh, that's something I, I learned from uh, uh, Dirt Rooster's channel is he always said, you pull the comb down, even if you're by yourself, hold on to that comb. Don't even worry about looking at it. Immediately start checking your comb up there. You've got her. If she's on that comb, you've got her. Just look up there because that's where you're going to run her anyway. Then check the one down there. But fortunately, we got two people, so we could double team that. Makes it go a little quicker. But we're going to get this thing cut out. Mr. Bruce now, he's, he's getting into it, see? We're going to let him get in there, cut that stuff out. He's saving every bit of honey. I'm going to wrap this thing up and get on to the house. I got bees to inspect. So what we got is we got one pollen and one, two, three, four brood cones, which is a good amount. And it's good brood too. It's uh, yeah. it's this is eggs, a lot of eggs and larvae. And I saved some of them ones you found on the bottom of yeah. eggs and, and mixed it a little bit. So yeah, we got four of those to put in. And we got we went ahead and saved this one nice pollen frame. Although they're bringing in a ton of pollen right now. I Plenty think I think it's just as well to go ahead and let them heat keep this too. Yeah. And he doesn't have any drawn combs, so this is gonna help him out immensely. So we're gonna we're gonna join them to the hive when we're done. I guess you're gonna take them home and let them reorient. Yeah, we can take them my yard or wherever he wants to take them. And, uh, he wants to keep them here, so we gotta reorient yeah. them somewhere. Yeah. So we don't have a lot of bees flying, that's a good thing. Uh, we got in here early, and there were some out coming back from flights, but uh, not a lot. As we stirred them up, they began to gather where the opening used to be. But I was sucking them up while Joey was cutting comb. And we were just, it was a total team effort. Mr. Bruce was grabbing comb and putting it in the honey dish and splitting it up. He was stacking the brood comb. Everything worked like clockwork. And we're literally only an hour and a half into this thing, maybe two hours. All right, guys, here we are. We're all wrapped up with this cutout, and it went smooth as silk, don't you think? I, I think so. I mean, look, it was only a couple hours, and uh, we were wrapped up. So it was a little hard getting into it at first because we didn't realize we needed to pull that front board off. And we tried to, I started pulling comb from the back, but that was way too much problem. It was just too much problem. But once we got that, that fascia board off, or whatever you want to call it, that framing, man, we could get that comb and cut it on out. Once Joey spotted the queen, I couldn't see her. <laughs> then we put Mr. Bruce here. It's going to be his bees, so we figured we'd make him earn the bees a little bit. We had him cutting out the residual and vacuuming bees. That was some good experience. He got some good stings. Yes. And, and that's good because he needs to get used to yeah. it, right? Right. <laughs> I think he got as many as I did. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. I think it went well. We got the queen, and let's take a look at what all we got right here. 
All right, guys, so here's what we got. Here's our bees. They're kind of all spread out, jumbled around, but there was a good amount of bees in there. Maybe seven combs is what I counted, so I figured there's time we vacuum, maybe five frames of bees. There weren't a lot left lying around. I think we got a lot of robber bees showing up now, but uh, we had gotten it to the point where there were hardly any bees flying around. We got them early enough, so I think we got them. Of course, we got our queen here, and uh, we're pretty excited about that. Here's our comb. We showed uh, this earlier. We got one pollen and four brood combs. And we're going to go ahead, since it's cool still out, and put that on top for the transport. And we'll join them when we get to the property. We're going to take these and let them reorient uh, probably out of Joey's place. Because if we leave them here and just move them across the yard, they're going to wind up going back to that hole. Now, what do we get for comb? We got quite a bit of comb. This is all empty comb that can be melted down. We're going to take care of that. We need to get these bees out of here. All right. Uh, and honey, we're going to go ahead and get this one. This is what we got in honey. These big old chunks, and that's some pretty honey. Now, Mr. Bruce, you're going to take all this and squeeze this out, huh? Right. right. Yep. Plan. Yeah, sure if I can see. get all my friends off of it. <laughs> right. So, we're gonna get, so we can go ahead and take that in now. We got that bowl, and I'm going to let him hold on to this tote for now. We got this big old tote here. Or we might transfer it. I don't know. But that's a lot of honey. So there you go. All right, guys, we are all wrapped up. That was a super efficient cutout. I have got to thank Joey. Uh, Joseph Rawls, YouTube, and he'll have a video on this, but um, man, between he and I and then Mr. Bruce handing us and stuff and grabbing comb and moving it and putting it, and man, it went so smooth. It pays off uh, to have somebody that's done a cutout before helping you. Um, and we really did it. I mean, from start to finish, three hours from packing up. It's 10:25 right now. We've been, uh, we've been on the road. So I'm really happy with it, man. It went well. I again thank Joey, man. He really helped out, Mr. Bruce. Everything went well. So we're on the way to Joey's yard. I'm following him because I don't know where we're going. But we're gonna place these bees at his yard. We can't put them in Mr. Bruce's yards because they'll just go right back to where the old hive was. So we're gonna go get them over here. Let them reorient, get settled in, get get established here for the next three weeks or so, and then they'll get moved back. Uh, that's the plan for now. Well, all right, guys, I appreciate everybody coming along. If you like the video, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to share this video with your friends, family, anybody that just enjoys watching bees. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Y'all have a wonderful afternoon. May the Lord God bless you. See y'all later.